So in this short clip, I'm going to quickly discuss why people tend to score higher on 2CK in comparison to step one, okay? So before we get started, I'm going to be an asshole like I usually am and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now, let me discuss two reasons why people score higher on step 2 CK in comparison to step 1. And the first reason is people simply learn from their mistakes studying for step 1. People might not go through QBank as assiduously as they should have. Maybe they didn't focus on the NVMe content as well as they should have. Or people will fuck up step one and get a low score, and now they're galvanized, they're jolted, and they say, holy shit, if I don't ace step two, I'm fucked for residency. So that's actually like a kick into some people's prep as well, where they're they're really galvanized, now they have to ace step two. So they're going to study a lot harder, okay? So that's one reason. People learn from their mistakes studying for step one. They'll do more practice questions. They'll focus more on the NBMEs for step two. The other reason people score higher on step two is they're simply more interested in the material because I can tell you the step two questions, they are not easier than step one. They are way harder. People will have different opinions. Some people will say, no, I thought step one questions are harder. They're not, okay? The questions for step two, the stems are way longer. There's much more deep integration of concepts. The step two vignettes absolutely are more difficult. And this is coming from me tutoring step one and step two every day for the past nine and a half years, okay? Step two questions are a lot harder. It just happens to be the case, and this is my observation. Most students will say, yes, like finally, like I can study like real medicine, real clinical material. I don't have to worry about any of that like, biochemistry anatomy horseshit like I did uh, for step one, okay? Like now I can focus on real medicine. That's how most people tend to think. I was the opposite. I thought step one was more interesting. I hated studying for step two, okay? That's me, but I'm not most people. So people tend to score higher on step two because they study better for it, more effectively for it. They learned from their mistakes for step one. They may have gotten a really shitty step one score, and now they got a kick in the ass, and they're going to study harder for step two. And people just tend to perform better when they're more interested in the material. Most people, on average, tend to prefer the clinical application as opposed to the preclinical biochemistry, micropharmacology type subjects. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to produce more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.